and both welcome back to my channel i'm jennifer of custom chic and if you're new here let me be the first to welcome you my channel focuses on fashion travel and just overall lifestyle y'all like that spin right there i almost fell don't tell nobody <laughs> overall lifestyle so if that is the kind of content that you are into then i would encourage you to subscribe share like definitely hit that bell notification so you won't miss an upload i upload videos every wednesday and every friday i'm thinking about maybe moving it to every wednesday and sunday that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day today you've clicked the thumbnail you know why we are here we are bringing color to the office i work full-time in a law firm as a lawyer that's what i do during the day um at night time and in the weekend in the meantime and in between time i'm here y'all giving content okay giving y'all content but my office works full time all of our staff is back so if you are in that same predicament or you will be in the very near future i figured i'd come on here and give y'all some tips on how to incorporate color in your workwear my office the dress code is business casual people have taken that to a completely new level that's also another video. So maybe I'll do a video on like what's office work appropriate, but I guess it really kind of depends on your office culture. Anyway, like I said, I work in a law firm and people have often the misperception that you have to be stuffy, you have to wear black, you have to be very muted, you don't want to wear color because you don't want to bring any attention to yourself. Ah, ah, wrong. <laughs> I completely think that is wrong. I love color. I am a very colorful girl. I love playing the Crayola box when it comes to dressing up. So I figured I'd come on here and give you guys five outfit options that I wore to work or that I will wear to work or I feel is work appropriate. But blending in color, it's so much fun. You would be surprised at how many people will gravitate towards you, right? How, how much better you would feel just because you have on color spring is playing with us right now right last week it was warm and nice and breezy and then a couple days towards the end of the week it got cold and snowy and rainy don't worry about any of that keep wearing the color right now i have on this coral is coming off to you as coral but this is sort of like a bright red orange mix um top that i purchased from my friend um jules by Jador. and then i have on this mustard skirt oh my butt looks nice um, and that's just an example of what you can wear to your office. Maybe I would probably wear this on perhaps a Friday where people are not as um, dressed up or if I don't have to appear in front of the course, so I don't have to wear any jackets or anything or blazers. But this is a very work appropriate outfit. Now, mind you, this is probably a little bit more form fitting that I would suggest for the office. But you get the gist, right? The color combinations. This works. I'm going to pop up a picture of a color wheel for all of you who have issues or maybe... Um, hesitation all right or maybe not enough knowledge of how to mix color and then once you see this color wheel just flip the colors and wear those two together <laughs> that's how it works it's easy it's easy so let's get into the video outfit number one is a bcbg maxaria set actually they were separate but i did pair them together this is a striped blazer that has pockets on the side and then i paired it with a high-waisted wide leg pair of chambray pants again from bcbg max aria on the inside i went for the pop of color i went for the line because i felt like it was muted enough but it still looked professional this is when you're not really sure whether or not your office culture or you are very comfortable wearing um colors or color blocking so this lime green gives it a little pop lime green chartreuse whatever you want to call it um gives it a little bit of pop but it's still not all the way out there and then you have the chambray and then you have the blend of the blazer which reminds me a little bit of seersucker but it is a linen blend still very formal still very fitted still very safe so to speak but you have that pop of, pop of color in there that makes it really fun i probably would not take off my blazer while i'm at the office but you get the gist of it right throwing in a little bit of color contrary to popular belief purple and green actually go really really well together now i chose this plum purple these pants are from zara i chose this because that's what i had in my closet and i recently wore this to work the focus of my outfit really was this lime green sort of polyester blend silk inspired shirt this was thrifted um but i really liked this shirt and i thought well what do i want to wear it with and just still keep a pop of color i could have opted for white pants i could have opted for gray pants i probably could have opted for black 
or even like a caramel colored pant, but I thought, mm, that's just too boring. I wanna have fun with color. So I decided to go with these plum purple pants. Now you can do this in a very different variation. You can do like a lilac or a sort of um, Kelly green or an apple green. Those two color combinations actually go really well together. I know that Hanifa makes a pair of lime green pants, so you can actually even do the inverse, right? You can do purple on top or um, green at the bottom, or you can do it like this where you do purple on the bottom and green on top. Either which way works, just have fun with the color and just be, be open to exploring different color combinations. Now this color combination we've seen before, right? We've seen black with white and red paired together. If not on a flag, it's very nautical. Sometimes it's not black, sometimes it's navy blue. Now, why is this a little bit of a risk taker? Because white pants are not always forgiving. You can see everything through white pants, but I figured if I threw this red tweed blazer on there, it would give it one, it would hide all the stuff on the bottom, right? But it would also give me that pop of color that I was looking for. Now, tweed is probably a little bit more sort of like a fall-esque color, but this is still really fun. And I actually rolled up the sleeves here because the inseam, the inseams or the lining of the jacket is white. So I figured that gold is gonna make these colors pop, add some gold accessories, and you're still very put together. This jacket is giving me all kinds of life. This is from Zara. The pants are also from Zara, but old. But I like this color because white technically, or the people say you're not supposed to wear white before Memorial Day. Mm, out the window with those rules where rules are meant to be broken. Like, look at this outfit. Who would not wanna show up and feel super bossed up at work? I know I was feeling myself. I haven't worn this yet, but I probably should wear it tomorrow. I know what you're thinking. Why does this girl want me to wear orange pants to work? Why does she even own a pair of orange pants? Besides the fact that these pants are to die for, I mean, <laughs> these pants are amazing. They're actually a crinkle pleated pant, high-waisted, wide leg, you know, belt around the waist area. I love these. Now, these pants are very, very bright. They are orange, starburst orange. But how do you wear that to work and make sure that you're not too colorful, that you're not bringing too much attention to yourself? Well, you pair it with something that's a little bit more muted at the top. I think if you want to be super safe, besides this kind of tan colored poplin that I have on from Theory, you can wear this with a white. You can wear this with a black. Um, you can even, if you really want to get out there, you can even wear this with a pink. And if you really want to do it, pop the collar on them. Just pop the collar. <laughs> um, pop the collar on them. But again, you can wear this with a white. You can wear this with a cream, something a little bit more taupe, something that's muted. Now, I actually bought this shirt at Nordstrom's from, it's from Theory, and it had a matching pant. And I was going to do this whole monochromatic look. Y'all, when I tell y'all these pants did not fit me and I'm super sad about it. I actually think the orange looks better on it. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Last but certainly not least is this cobalt blue and black jumpsuit situation. I actually paired it with a pair of white pointy toe shoes from Steve Madden just because... I didn't think any other shoe combination made sense to me. Now, this is color blocking at its finest, right? But every single piece in this outfit is getting this moment. Why? Because the black is sort of like my palette. The black is my base. Black goes with everything. But I don't want to be so boring today, right? I want to add a little bit more color. This cobalt blue jacket, blazer rather, from Zara. Picked it up recently. If it's still available, I will put it down in the description box. But the... Um, the button detailing with that pop of gold just gives it a lot more fun. This red lip, I probably will not wear to the office, but you see where I'm going with this, right? You can pick a very neutral palette background base. So think about your grays, think about your whites, think about your blacks, and throw in a pop of color on top and something that is going to match it well on the bottom. Blue and white always work together. Black, it's not existent, right? It's like it's not even there. So nobody's focusing on your jumpsuit. People are paying attention to your blazer and the shoes. I don't know where I was going with this clutch, but it looked cute. Those were all of the outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What I'm going to try to do is put the links to everything that's still available. Unfortunately, some of these items have been in my closet for a little while, so I kind of like mix the pieces together. I'm almost positive that this entire outfit from Jules Bajador is still available. Um, I'm going to link it down below if it still is if it's not i'll just link her um instagram and the the link to her online boutique because she does a lot of colors she has a lot of maxi dresses all of that kind of stuff so just remember 
this is not a guide so to speak this is just some insight some inspiration and remember to have fun the fashion is supposed to be fun we don't want to be all you know frou frou stuffy and mm, mm, mm. like no don't do that okay obviously fashion is subjective so if this ain't for you then that's okay too <laughs> that's that's okay too but remember have fun if you stuck around this long y'all know what to do make sure to subscribe like share hit that bell notification so you won't miss an upload and i appreciate y'all for watching i'll see y'all next time Bye bye